On October 19, 2017, the Pan-STARRS telescope at Haleakala Observatory in Hawaii made an astonishing discovery. A discovery that would change the future of astronomy. The first ever confirmed interstellar object passing through our solar system. At first, astronomers called the object Rama, after an alien spacecraft in an Arthur C. Clarke novel. However, after that, it was determined that perhaps that wasn't the best name for this object, as strange as it was, and instead it was named Amuamua, a Hawaiian name for Scout. And perhaps this was a far more appropriate name, although at the time, astronomers didn't realize that. But the more that we studied this object, the more that astronomers analyzed the data, the more it became clear that this object was fundamentally different than any we had detected before. Now, since 2017, team after team of astronomers have done their level best to convince themselves and the scientific community that Oumuamua was in some way a natural object from another solar system, just different than anything we had seen before. However, none of the explanations put forward by these astronomers has held water, and the only logical explanation that remains is an artificial one. How do we know this? Well, first of all, we need to look at some of the basic fundamentals of what Oumuamua was and where it came from. Now, one of the strangest things about Oumuamua was the fact that we saw it at all. For interstellar objects to randomly encounter our solar system with any kind of regular occurrence, especially a rocky asteroid-like object as Oumuamua appeared to be, this would require that every solar system in the galaxy eject at least 1,000 trillion such objects during the course of its lifetime. This seems highly unlikely. The only thing that makes interstellar objects a little bit more likely to encounter and a little bit more plausible is if solar systems eject large numbers of objects from their Oort cloud. In other words, comets. This is a much, much larger number simply because most solar systems have enormous populations of comets. Therefore, we should encounter objects like 2I Borisov, the second interstellar object to be detected passing through our solar system, to be far more frequent. In other words, comets that are obviously comets, whereas Oumuamua had no cometary tail, even when it made a very close pass by our sun because we had astronomical instruments at the time observing the sun and any cometary objects that might have passed it in 2017, Oumuamua didn't give off so much as a whiff of a tail, let alone anything as obvious as 2i Borisov. So the odds of us actually encountering something like Oumuamua were immensely unlikely to begin with. And then there's Oumuamua's trajectory and point of origin. First of all, Oumuamua originated from a point that corresponds with the LSR, or Local Standard of Rest for the Galaxy. That means that it remains relatively stationary compared to the stars in motion around it. This would make it an extremely useful navigational instrument, as well as something that could happen across just about every star in its region just by the force of gravity. It would be perfectly positioned both as a navigational aid and as a scout to explore star systems in the galaxy over a long period of time. And then there was the course that Oumuamua took through the solar system. It passed not only through the Goldilocks zone of our star, but also it passed within 0.16 astronomical units of the Earth. Now granted, that is a fairly substantial distance, approximately 24 million kilometers, but keep in mind, for an asteroid to qualify as a near-Earth object, it only needs to pass within 45 million kilometers of our planet. So purely by chance, this object happened to pass 
much closer to Earth than most of the near-Earth object asteroids in the vicinity of the solar system. And also keep in mind that the solar system, um, that is if I can have your attention for a moment, I'll explain what these are a little bit later, 